In this video, I'm going to show you how to share access by being the admin user who owns an NVR with another user they don't actually own the NVR. So on the right-hand phone, I'm going to call it my admin phone, and the left-hand phone, I'm going to call it my user phone. So pretend I'm the boss and I own this NVR on the right-hand side, and I want to share access to my whole NVR or certain channels with an employee or um, a family member. So I would go under the main menu and I would go to devices and I would click on my cloud connected device. I'm logged into my Ava I mobile app and I added this NVR by being signed into the Ava I app. That allows me to do this function that I'm showing you in this video where I can easily share access to the NVR over the phone to another user who's also using the Ava I mobile app. So I'm clicking on my NVR and I'm going to click on share. I can select individual cameras or I can select a full NVR. Let me begin by just sharing one camera, which is the first one on there. If you're entering a username for the first time, you will click on the user and type in their email address that they have for the account that they're signed in on the Avi mobile app on the user side. So if I go to me on my user phone, I can see my username and my email address that I use to register that account. You can put in either the username or just the email address in here. I've already tested out this phone before, so I have it as a pre-fill for recent shared options. So I got to that by clicking on the plus sign on the right-hand side, and I can select that user and hit OK. I can put a valid period of when I want access for this user to expire to this camera. I can give only live view privileges or playback PTZ control if it's available or two-way audio. So I'm just going to do live view just to show you that I can limit access. I hit share. When I did that, it said shared successfully. That means it worked. So now I go on my user phone. I go under the main menu by clicking on the top left and go under devices. I'll see that my camera now shows up. Now here I can do start live view and I can view the camera, but guess what? When I go playback, it says I don't have permissions for that. So I'm going to go back under devices to show you how quick all this syncing is. I'm still in my admin phone on the right hand side. I'm going to click on that. I'm under the share menu still. So I got to that again. If you want to refresh your memory, main menu, devices, you click on your NVR, go to share. And now I'm going to click on the name of my NVR. And this pulls up the option to share the full NVR, all the channels on it, not just one or two channels. So here I can use a previously entered username that I want to share with on the user side, a valid period, and I can delegate functions. Now, since I want to share the same functions on all the cameras, so let's say all first and two, uh, second cameras, I just want the user to have live and playback functionality, and it expires on October 22nd, which is one month from now, and I hit share. If I now refresh my user phone, my NVR showed up, and when I click on it, I go to start live view, and I go under a four grid view, I see that my cameras showed up here again from all three channels on my NVR. So I gave access to all three cameras for live and playback. Now if I click on this one and I go to playback, it pulls up the video playback capability. I can switch back to live view. I can go to another channel. I can hit playback on that one too. Okay. But guess what? I also previously shared in the beginning of the video just one camera, the first one. When I go to star live view, if I go to playback on that, that doesn't let me uh, gain access to the playback function. It's because when I shared it from my admin phone, I only gave myself live view capability privileges, not playback. So that's the nuances that you need to understand when you allow access to a device, keep in mind, you're giving them access for that validity period and those functions. And through that category of um, privileges you gave them, either for the full NVR or for the camera itself. Now, access to this will expire on October 22nd. So this user will lose access and no longer be able to view footage. So if you have an employee who suddenly leaves, it's a good way to keeping them out and not having to worry about it. 
because what happens is they'll lose access automatically and you don't have to go back and do anything. Hopefully you found this video useful on how to share access to an AVAI NVR or IP camera using the AVAI mobile app. These are NDA compliant PoE cameras and they are business class systems which provide this sort of connectivity options and sharing options not found in home consumer devices. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.